naval honours for the sailors killed aboard the West Australia. Storm havoc in Wanthaggy in the wake of a mini tornado and Shane Warne hoping to be back for next summer's Ashes Tests. But it almost hit the Gippsland town of Wanthaggy, leaving houses damaged, trees toppled and power cut. Weather experts say a water spout which formed over Bass Strait was responsible. Nick Coe with more. The storm was as fast as it was furious. A barrage of hail followed by incredible winds lasting only minutes. The trees were coming this way. The next thing they're going that way and these rubbish bins are up about eight foot in the air going silent fast. Unreal, I tell you what, Penny. Houses within just a few blocks of each other bore the brunt of the storm. This property had been vacant for only a week. Power was cut to much of the town for several hours. One man saw his chicken coop blown across the road. It's like as if it's just zigzag through the place. Damage is estimated at tens of thousands of dollars. Jessica Dickman took shelter in a shower recess, but spent the afternoon retrieving clothes from neighbouring properties. And it's wrecked all our clothes, and my brother's at school, and I worried about him. Homes in Hagelthorn Street bore the brunt of the storm's fury. Seven houses were damaged, while sheds were reduced to piles of rubble. In all, 22 houses were damaged. Most reported leaking roofs, but others had power lines cut and cars crushed. Amazingly, no one was hurt. Council workers and SES crews spent several hours clearing roads of roofing iron and trees. Debris from the worst storm of its type in the area for almost five years. Nick Coe, National 9 News. The developer... ...clear conditions today with blue sky between the showers. On the satellite photograph, you can see the cold front that uh, came through uh, overnight. In the wake of it, the very cold air is behind that speckled cloud, and that's been producing quite widespread showers, more particularly along the coast and away from the metropolitan area. But they're still there, and there's still some very cold air outside, of course. The uh, freezing level's right down to about 1,000 metres. There's our pressure pattern. You can see the major part of this low and the strongest winds are now uh, uh, out off the east coast, and the high is still coming in for the weekend. Let's check a, ra a radar sequence. You can see the showers well scattered, but particularly focused down here around about one thaggy. And as we move up towards uh, midday, those very uh, heavy showers that produced that uh, water spout that moved across the coast, a bit like a tornado, but really just very heavy thunderstorms with, uh, with, uh, in, with intense rainfall, but not much, as I say, in the metropolitan area today. Uh, temperatures below average like yesterday, mostly in the mid-teens. Tonight, Dubai denials. The government disputes the claims in Finn West's paper trail. Freak of nature, one thaggy cleans up after a mini tornado. And in memoriam, thousands mourn the victims of the West Australia tragedy. Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. The Westland town of Wonthaggy is tonight counting the cost of a freak mini tornado. It swept into the town without warning, unroofing homes, uprooting trees and stunning the local community. The Weather Bureau says it's a rare occurrence, but it's Wonthaggy's second battering in five years. Windy weather is not unusual in the Victorian coastal town of Wonthaggy, but today's freakish mini tornado hit without warning. Um, it's just one, one big mess and within the area, I would say you've, there's be a few houses that have lost their roofs. The storm swept in southwards from the coast in similar fashion to an event here five years ago which left several million dollars in damage. That, says the Weather Bureau, was a microburst or corridor wind. Meteorologists call today's event a water spout. Uh, they're a result of the, the fact that the sea surface temperatures are still relatively warm and uh, you get a burst of cold air moving across the top of that uh, warmer sea surface, uh, which is what we've had today. Normally, water spouts dissipate harmlessly at sea. As it approached, residents fled for shelter. I noticed a spout of uh, like a hurricane out, out the sea and what, uh, what it was doing was pulling all the water out of the sea and taking it up into, up into the sky. So I thought, I've got to get out of here. There were no human casualties, but 23 houses were damaged, three losing roofs. Looks like the wind just hit it and just, whoop, just ripped it apart. By late today, electricity had been restored to most of the district. The cleanup and the insurance assessment continues. Timothy Lee, ABC News, One Thaggy. Prime Minister tonight, Ian, which we'll show you in a minute. But of course, uh, good evening to all our friends at One Thaggy. And I suppose the only good thing about uh, that water spout was because of the 
dreadful cold weather down there and the wet weather there weren't too many people wandering around the streets hopefully but one thing he had 27 millimeters of rain in that six hour period to three o'clock this afternoon many thunderstorms around about and of course the mini tornado is something that we've seen uh, off St Kilda over the years and also at Mornington and not uh, uh, not that many years ago anyway so they're around all right but uh, I've been handed an ice pointer tonight from the people of Wood End. I was there yesterday and this thing is melting. So uh, it's not the water spout, this is real ice. 16 degrees, no ice up there in the northwest of the state, but it certainly has been a very cold day. It uh, was minus three on the Alps today for a maximum. Melbourne's top 15.4 at 3.25 after a low of 7.4 and it's only 11 degrees at the moment. And would you believe this is quite correct, 32 degrees was the maximum temperature on the other side of the high compared with 10 degrees in Hobart today. Now on the satellite chart some of the cloud that is starting to affect Western Australia will come our way during Sunday but it's not expected to produce very much.